Hello everyone, Tarki here, and we are back with Subnautica Below Zero, and I have a lot of things to show today. First off, yep, I have a bedroom now. I spent a lot of time getting titanium and all that to make a bedroom. We have a bed, our photo with Sam, the necklace, the cute kitty, because we can't survive without a cute kitty. Also, I have some nice stuff here, some photos and this poster. It looks cool. This looks bugged, but whatever. And I have these too, so I can listen to the joke box whenever I want. And yeah, and if it changes. And as you can see, I'm not on the snowy biome we were before because I made all my way back, back here so I can build stuff. Already have all the materials separated here. A lot of materials. And I spent a lot of time grinding. And while I was grinding, uh, Al and uh, had some interactions with us. One, he pointed me to an artifact. The other, he commented on the jukebox. And the other, he commented on the bed. So, I had it recorded, of course, so here they are. I have detected an energy signature of some strength. I am not sure what it is for. Go ahead and share it. Can't hurt. Signal location uploaded to PDA. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns within it. Is it mathematical? An instrument of science? Does it help with your research? It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math. Harmonies can be math. But music as a whole is more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. I sense it has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move to we make music, and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of those. Mainly for my own safety. And those were it. I particularly like the one where he talked about the joke box. <laughs> it was fun talking about music. Love music. But yeah, we are ready to go. We have a few more supplies here. I also planted a few things here, so we have food. Lots of food. I can also uh, carry some with me if I want to. But for now, let's just build stuff. Okay, first of all, we can't survive with the cold without this. So we're gonna make the cold suit. I know. Made of tightly knit Kevlar microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders, the cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. Thank you. On a game that's based on a cold environment, I was under the impression we got these a lot earlier. But okay. I'll take them when I can take them. That feels good. So now we have 20 
10 and 50. That is 80%. No, we can't have 10. Uh, 100%. 100%. Oh. Well, that's still plenty, I guess. And thanks to our storage module on the sea truck, I can, of course, store these here. So if I need to change them on the go, I can. Okay, now back to the other stuff. Oh, yeah, something to mention is that to build the snow fox, I had to build this too. I was like, yeah, this uh, over pod thingy. This is what it looks like when trying to build it. It's definitely weird. You need to build it on land. Kinda on land, half a land, half water. So I just put it here. It works. Now let's build the snow fox. It magnetized, so good thing we found it that time. Finally, when I have a bike. Oh. Beautiful. How do I do this? Access upgrades, board, inventory full. Wait, I can store it? Oh, that doesn't seem logical because. Okay, stay there for a moment. I'll be there in a second. Oh, first of all, there you go. I placed it. Because I need to decorate it. Ah, but it's getting late. Oh, what can I do? I can sleep. That's what I do. That's why I build beds. So I can sleep through the night. And it's daytime again. That sure makes it useful. Think about it. Since we've been playing. When was the last time we slept? Exactly. We didn't. Well, let's build the other stuff here and then we go there. We also want to make a snow fox jump module, so it can jump. We also want to make our spy penguin and our little spy penguin penguin remote. Scientists may have never discovered that penguins incubate their eggs in small cave burrows, often alongside thermal lily roots. Well, and lastly, we are gonna make another module for the sea truck. Because not being able to build stuff on the go is a bit annoying, so we're gonna make a fabricator module. And there we go. With this, we'll be able to build stuff on the go. I think that's only the basic fabricator, but still useful. We need batteries or any simple materials. Okay, let's remove the. This one over here. Perfect. Let's stick this behind the storage module. Perfect. And the prone suit already connected automatically. Nice. Now how does it look from the inside? We have I'm powered. Oh, I guess I need the. I need to stick the C truck to it, so it uses the C truck's power. Now let's customize our snow fox, so it can be all cool while we navigate. Oh, a name. Oh, this is tricky. That's gonna be called Supernova. Interior. Like what? The seat? Huh. And the stripe. Okay, the base first. Ooh, ooh. That has potential. Let me make it all black with the uh, red stripes. Or blue stripes, like some uh, Tron stuff. And then the seat can be all clear like that. Or maybe darker to match. 
Let me just make it blue straight. Yeah. That works. And the name can be... White? Does that make it... Oh no, it's too much. Okay, I like it. A blue supernova. Is that, is, that, is that a thing? I have no clue, but uh, I don't know. It looks cool. And what was that I saw? Can I... What? Let's see. Board. Ooh. And now can I... I can pack it. So I can carry it with me. Yeah, that's good. Because... There isn't really a way out from here. So yeah, being able to... How to do this? Yep. Cool. Now where are the upgrades again? I need to give it... There, access upgrades. There's just one. Okay. There, now we can jump. And back. Okay, now we can explore those tiny holes and... Be faster on the snow. And wow, just notice I've, I've been, been being up here for a while and our cold is a lot better now. Can't stay here for a while. Oh, and because I have food, I don't need to waste my resources here. Let me just eat these. There, now I'm full, fully healed, and ready to go. I have my snow fox, my small penguin, a bunch of water, food. I have more stored there. So, let's hop into our sea truck. Let's take all this to the back. Yep. This is looking a bit ridiculous, but... Hey, we don't have a Cyclops. So this is the next best thing. So, yeah, this is a standard one. We can make food here, so that's good. Speaking of... I'm carrying more food and water here, just in case I need it. And I also carry a few basic materials. Just in case. We're gonna be so slow now. <laughs> but at least we are very prepared for whatever we may face. So let's go back to the fire robotics and explore the rest of that place. Because there was more to it. So let's go there. Very, very slowly. I'm tempted to use the booster, but it uses too energy to do that. It does give me a big boost, but we get that distance and more with less energy, so probably should save it. Because we are slow. If you waste energy on... Oh my god. If you waste energy like that, you might run the risk of not going, coming back. I am carrying extra power cells, but... Better not waste them. Well, I found these guys, so we're close. Hollow chamber in iceberg interior. Oh my god. Why do you say things? It's scary. Hollow chamber in an iceberg. Is that it? Okay, I wasn't expecting to run into this. I guess we can check this. What? Sh what am I looking for here? Maybe this is not the hollow chamber I was supposed to look for. Where was that platform I landed earlier? Yep, this helped. <laughs> Don't you guys love it when you want to go somewhere you've been before but you can't find a way? That is amazing. <laughs> Not. Well, hollow chamber and iceberg, okay. This is a big iceberg. Does it have a hollow chamber? I am going under the iceberg, so... Does this count as hollow chamber? Maybe. Good thing these things are passive, so they won't attack me. Well, it is a chamber-ish, and it is hollow. So, okay. Yep, that goes inside. 
It all goes inside. This is terrifying, actually. See a truck? Don't fail me now. Ow. Okay. Big seat. Big seat truck. Not ideal for this. It'll be tough to navigate. Don't you dare be stuck. What? Okay. Now what? Ah, oh, that's a way out. Ow. What did I hit? This time I can go back to the ocean from here. Um. Um. Huh. Not what I was going for, but... Okay, I guess. Not very much. I guess we got here. Anyway. Okay, stay there. Be safe. Well, we have our ways to explore, but let's leave that for next episode. For now, I'll leave you here. Today was more of a let's upgrade our stuff, build what we need, and go back to the place. Did we? Kinda? Let's see. Next episode, we're gonna explore a lot more of this. For now, I'll leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my content, please leave a like, comment, Share with your friends, subscribe for more. Also, hit the bell icon so notified when we release new videos. For more content, hit the link to the description below. Follow me on Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter. Thank you, and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.